Jumping straight into our conversation this morning, coming off from our second news piece in the news, um, we are going to be talking with, with the Tobago Tutor Officer, and of course that's none other than Mr. Braden Roberts, as we discuss what's happening with the Signal Hill Government Primary School, as you know it had been closed for a bit last week because of this rodent infestation. So a special good morning and welcome to you, Mr. Roberts, how are you doing this morning? Good morning, good morning to the Tobago Beats family. Great to have you. All right, so can you, what, what can you give us about what's been happening at Signal Hill? Have you been working closely with the division as they, you know, did their tests and their assessments and so on to make things or, or um, to eliminate the rodents so that the students can come back to school this morning and know that all is well? So information has been forthcoming as to how they uh, would have been progressing. I would have been a part of one of the meetings that they would have had as they sought to have solutions when the two and one building. What we need to treat with though is all the remaining schools. So I know it would take some time and based on when it was raised in the last meeting with the administrator, they indicated that they have a team where they have some plans working on to treat with the other schools. Now, schools for several years would have had boxes of stuff, um, old textbooks, derelict furniture and so on stored in different areas of the school, which of course would eventually um, become home for the, the undesirables. What we need to do is ensure that we do the, the audit of these, these furniture so we know what we can remove from, our, from the schools the audit of those textbooks because a principal cannot just discard of, of of assets that they would have received from the ministry and from the division in tobago so the audit has to be done by the powers that be i don't know if education has their own auditing team to ensure that they can discard of all these and there are too many schools in tobago where we have rooms where we store all these derelict stuff and of course it would cause health hazards and Signal Hill is not the only school that they would have had um, health and safety concerns and I would want to commend the health team that is making the rounds now as to me OSHA should have been doing what health is doing now and we hope that we properly assess all the schools because we would have written a comprehensive list to OSHA I believe it have been two years ago uh, we are now seeing that health is visiting we trust that the division would continue in their work. They would have put in some work to ensure the school is not done for some time. So I would want to commend them there as well. However, if we wait until all the other schools reach to the point where it has to close, the disruptions will affect the teachers and the students in a significant way. Certainly. And can you give us an idea of how many schools at this point in time are affected by rodents? Do you know? Well, as far as I've been told, the teachers at St. Andrews have been complaining of the, the of the droppings again. And it's not that I expected that once they clean, the rodents would just disappear. They, they, if we don't treat with all the other things, because there are things at St. Andrews, as far as I was, I've been told, that still need to be removed. We have um, at Mount St. George, what I've made mention to Mount St. George Methodist, I'm not certain to what extent of cleaning took place there, but I got no further updates with Mountain George. So I'm trusting that health would have done the needful there. Um, so just those three schools. But in terms of the in terms of where, where they would have found rat droppings, however, the other schools, the same things that those three schools I mentioned that they have, those other schools would have the same issue. So it's just a matter of time for the, the rat droppings as one to be found. They would have found rat droppings when they were treating with St. Andrews at Scarborough Methodist as well. So we need to, to treat with the environment of the school and ensure the health and safety is at its optimum so that we don't have all these, you know, what we call flu season and so on, where we realize that the cold is getting even more devious and even with the COVID in, in, the, in the air right now, we have to be very careful with our surroundings. Okay. And then um, could you also give us an idea of, you know, what impact also does the community have on the rat population or the rodent population around the schools? Because I know especially at St. Andrews and the Khan, that was one of the concerns was, you know, what's been happening in the community that, that, that continues to have this environment where the, the rodents um, tend to thrive. 
Well, over the years, we have been steadily growing into a selfish people. So persons would pass by and toss things, even in, in, person, in, in various communities. They drive by your, your, your open bin and they just toss things there. Um, we know that the open area where they had as a, a, a bin for the two schools, persons were tossing things there. Even when they disbanded that area, persons still were passing and, and putting things there. So, so the community has a key role to play, but persons just know they don't want the garbage by them. So they find an area and some schools would have that, that big bin where they just toss their things. We need to be mindful as to when the garbage trucks will be passing. So I think the education division needs to lace with health to see how we can have the, the timely taking up of these the, the garbages in, the, in these schools. Um, not all schools would have the bins on the inside so that persons can utilize those bins. We also have a situation with the cleaners and the handymen and the timing of their work, their, their work hours. So some, so a few things are not in alignment to ensure that our schools can remain clean. So those are some of the discussions that we have to really move forward in terms of rectifying this, this issue as many other schools will follow suit if we don't make a change. Certainly. And now moving on a little bit, I know Tutor is actually hosting, or at least Tutor Tobago is hosting, hosting an all-inclusive social um, for this carnival season. So I just want you to you know, tell me a little bit about that. Right. So this year we are having Tropical Vibes. Um, this event would have started as a Christmas event where you have a, a dinner and you know a little social persons may shake a leg and sit down and interact with persons and so on and over the years we have moved into exploring having it at a villa where we entered it we moved it back into the christmas the, from the christmas to the carnival period and it has been growing ever since so the all-inclusive it's 250 dollars um we try not to have anything too costly the package includes well over the years the food has not been running out and we have the, the drinks and so where teachers could come and just be free and relax. And we also invite the general public to be a part with the teachers and have a, a, a safe, good time. This this season we have that event on Saturday. Again, that's tropical vibes. We have um our Dea Dana would be there as one of our artists. So we trust that persons would really have a great time. We ask persons to even wear the tropical wear as they come out at green palms hotel that's where shade used to be in the back of where shade used to be down at crown point area so again tutor is having the event mainly geared towards having our teachers come out and socialize and have a safe place to just be be free and we also invite our, our public again to be a part of that with our teachers now is the money being raised for any specific reason Actually, we don't make a profit, you know, it's, it, the money we charge is kind of to help with the cost that we have. In the previous years, we would have barely um, made even, broke even. So it's actually creating something for our teachers to have. So the food and the drinks alone, that 250 would not be able to pay for all of that. So we, we do cater a lot for our teachers. So it's not so much of a fundraiser for us, but it's more creating that space where our teachers can have some clean fun. All right, great. Well, um, I want to thank you so much, Mr. Roberts, for being on with us. And um, certainly we're going to keep you, um, well, we're going to keep in touch with you to see what's happening with especially Signal Hill um, School um, to see uh, how things are going. And of course, I'm guessing that you're going to be keeping an eye very closely as the day progresses. Yes, indeed. And I'm also monitoring the back page. The 31st is, is soon approaching. And I know quite a few persons been messaging me that they didn't see anything yet. So I'm keeping my eyes on a few things well. So I trust that um, should there be a need and I would need the avenue of your program, Certainly. that you'll be able to highlight some of those. But I'm confident based on my conversation with the administrator that they are working on a number of these things. So mm -hmm. things should flow smoothly this week. All right. I want to thank you so much, Mr. Roberts. And yes, we'll definitely be in touch as things unfold um, in the next days and few weeks. All right, viewers, we've well, we got to go for a quick break and we'll be right back rest after this. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> 